Hi traders, a nice green day for me today. I went uh, short for two and long Nvidia and I have a small loser in Snap and a very small winner in Boeing which is the one I want to discuss today. That's the most important trade today. The $250 which could easily be a losing uh, trade for me today. Now notice Boeing. I went long at 219. My target was 220. My stop loss was 218 or actually just below the whole number. Anyway, it did not get not to my stop loss happily and not to my target sadly. It just kept going sideways. Now what do you do when you have a stock that is going sideways? Well, most people think that they only have two options. One is their stop loss, second one is their target. Nobody learns about the other option and it is to move out of a trade which is going nowhere and Boeing was going nowhere. It was going sideways. Now the problem is us humans we do not like to admit the fact that we are sometimes wrong. I expected Boeing to move higher. It did not get there. It was 30 cents away and then it came down almost hitting my stop loss and it just kept going sideways and when, when, when a stock you thought is going to move higher is just going sideways you shouldn't stay. At that point you're just gambling. You're just putting your money on the if you like if I, I, I would compare it to a casino it's like putting your money right now on the black or the red and just hoping that something will come out. Well that's not gambling here. We're trading here and you know there's no free drinks while sitting at your home and buying or selling stock. You could get it in Vegas not here. So when you have a stock that is going sideways like Boeing take a small profit like I did $250. Take a small loss which would have been absolutely okay if I would have lost $250 or anywhere near it. You don't have to wait to your stop loss. Just move out. Admit the fact that you had you made the wrong decision. Admit the fact that you were wrong and just move out of a trade that is going sideways. Now did I move out when I should have? No, I was waiting too long. I did move out and you know what if, 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 it, if this would have happened like 20 years ago I would probably just wait for my stop loss or for my target and again betting. But right now I did move out maybe a little bit too late. I mean I, I, I probably if I, if I look back at what I did today I should have moved out a little bit earlier but finally I did have the courage to admit the fact that I was wrong and move out of the trade. Don't forget this is your third option and sometimes it's the most important option. Keep trading. Don't become a gambler. Thank you for watching and if you like this video please give us a thumb up we would really appreciate that. You can also subscribe to our channel it's right over here and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads and don't forget World Series of Day Trading you can only sign in this week. There's links below and a short video that will explain right now what is about to happen. It's the world's biggest trading competition. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and see you in my next video. The World Series of Day Trading returns for the sixth time and this time the biggest prizes in history. Starting the 20th of October and lasting for six trading days. To take part in WSDT, you have to register and pass the verification process. It's your time to prove you deserve the most prestigious title in day trading. The best day traders on the planet gather to discover the new champion of the world. Trade a demo account for six days and prove you are the world's best trader. New to day trading? Don't worry about it. Whatever your level of experience, you're welcome to join. Win access to the biggest prize of all. It's time to prove that you are the next champion of the world. Register now to guarantee your seat.